our industry is probably one of the most dangerous industries that you can ever imagine to work in. Not only is demolition dangerous, but all of the things that we do in demolishing structures also employ all of the highest risk categories of subcontractors in the construction industry. Well, the emotions of a, a blowdown deeply entrenched within Coleman's. We've done a number up to this point. Everyone is a, a bit of a buzz. The, the butterflies are in your stomach. You're into demolition mode. You're into explosive demolition mode. Demolition's in our blood. We look after our people. A lot of experience, a lot of enthusiasm. And gel all that together, it, it really puts a good team. Everyone's got a set agenda, uh, a set ideas of what they need to get done. The certain managers that give out the sentry positions, the first thing is to try and establish the exclusion zone. So that means setting up a perimeter uh, that excludes people from coming in, but allows people to come out. On every floor, we have to pre-weaken, we have to drill the columns, and then we have to chain link wrap them double, and then we have to geotextile wrap them double tie them off on every floor. On the day of the blowdown, it is a high pressure job. Everybody can sense the tension amongst the team. And the tension builds and builds, but that ultimately brings excitement when you find the blow down. Regeneration of any area is reliant on good demolition practices. The areas that I've seen over the years that have changed all started with good demolition. We only come into areas where it needs regeneration. You know, we don't we don't knock down brand new buildings give them a sort of a blank canvas in which to start that regeneration process so we are the first cog in that wheel that, that sends them on their merry way. <laughs> 